Today we are playing four different fan-made Pokemon horror games. To answer two questions. One, which one of the games is the scariest? And two, is Pokemon scary? Because I actually don't think so. See, Nintendo doesn't want Pokemon to be scary. They want it to be marketable. They want it to be friendly enough that a parent is okay with the idea of a story about 10 year olds going out in the world and dog fighting with eldritch horrors. It's always been up to fans to bring out the true horror potential of Pokemon, whether it's through creepy pastas like White Hand or Pokemon Lost Silver or fan games like the ones we're playing today. And I'm gonna be real with you, chat. I'm not scared. Let's get spooky. Now the first game we played is pretty simple. So simple that its name is just Pokemon Horror Game. Created by YouTuber Tyler Green, the goal is simple. Catch 10 Pokemon before they catch you. Okay, easy enough, that's one. Okay, here we go, boom. Easy money, easy money, chat. See, this is easy. This isn't scary. Oh, I hear footsteps. Oh, hello. Oh, is that a Mewtwo? Whoa! What the fuck was that? The f it's the fact that I don't see any Pokemon that's scaring me. Okay, well, there's Mewtwo. Chad, as long as we keep moving, we'll be fine. Just hold forward. You can't go any further? We're not fine! <laughs> and easy, right? A good warm-up, you know, get the palette ready. And I, I wasn't scared at all. The next game we played is Five Nights at Eevee's, and it's exactly what it sounds like. After Bell Tower burned down, scientists brought the Eeveelutions back to life using robotics. Your job is to guard them overnight without them getting to you first. Because if they do... Oh! The mechanics of the game were fairly simple to start out. Vaporeon comes from the right side while Flareon comes from the left. You just need to make sure that when they get close to you, you close the doors. Now, the only part that was a little stressful was that every couple of seconds you had to go back and reboot the system so Jolteon doesn't pop up and kill you immediately. Okay. Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon. One of them disappeared. Hi, friend. I've been put in here with no information. Let's check the others. Oh, okay, so Flareon's out and about. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. You gone? Nope, they are. Oh! oh! I wasn't scared, okay? Okay. Before I had... Sylveon's moving? Oh, you guys scared the shit out of me. Okay, they're both getting a bit closer now. It's when they reach here. Oh! No, close. Nope. Yeah, reboot. Can we uh, reboot? You're still chilling. You're still chilling. Huh? Well, we got a door, so fuck off, baby. Why are we at fifty percent? Oh, fuck me. Okay, okay. Honestly, 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 just call it. Just call it. Just fuck them, right? Just, just. 
let him chill there. Close the door. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh my god! The first night was terrifying, and even though I barely made it through, I get rewarded with two more evolutions: Umbreon and Espeon. Both of these Pokemon will come and try and attack me through the central vent. If Umbreon comes, I need to flash it with my flashlight. However, if I accidentally flash Espeon, it will immediately attack me. Oh, there's five of them now! Oh, dude, fuck right the- Oh my god, he's already coming! Go away! This is how you do it, right? Go the fuck away. What? Where's Umbreon? Oh my god! Oh my god! There's two of them! Go the fuck away! How are we doing? We're chilling there. We're chilling there. Okay, there, back there. Reboot. There, there. Vaporeon. Uh-uh. Flareon's- Huh? Oh my god! Oh my- <laughs> Run it the fuck back, chat. Oh, god damn it, Vaporeon. God damn it, Vaporeon. You're already coming. So then how do I get rid of Espeon? Because they come together. Uh, okay, this one. Go the fuck away. Vaporeon is chilling. Vaporeon likes that spot, and I'm okay with them there. Dude, this Sylveon is my best friend and would never do me wrong. <laughs> Flareon's already back! Oh my god. Go. Leave. Shoo. Leave! Okay. Chad, I think we're chilling. Let's just reboot. Where's it? Why is the music so loud?! <laughs> Chat, do we dare do night three? Do we dare? As if I wasn't having enough problems, now we have a heating system, which means Glaceon and Leafeon are here. If my office gets too hot, Glaceon is gonna get pissed off and come attack me, and if it's too cold, Leafeon will come attack me, so now I have to worry about Vaporeon on the right, Flareon on the left, Umbreon and Espeon in the middle, Jolteon needs to be rebooted, and then I need to turn on the heating system and... I for you forgot Jolteon? I realized, okay? Our third game is the Old Chateau, and let me just tell you, this game is beautiful. It's atmospheric, it's gorgeous, and I don't know what to do. You're trapped in a mansion with Ghastly and Haunters, where you have to avoid getting seen, or at the very least, use your flashlight to defend yourselves, or else they catch you. Chateau. But even though this game is gorgeous, the map is way too large and the way to escape is so unclear. So instead of being scared, I kind of just wandered around being lost. That's my favorite Pokemon trainer. Well, most of the time. Huh? 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 And our final game is without a doubt, the hardest Pokemon game I have ever ever played. And it's not even technically a Pokemon game. This is Hypno's Lullaby, a mod for Friday Night Funkin', that game that blew up a couple years ago, raised a bunch of money on Kickstarter, and then left. Yeah, yeah, that one. This is a rhythm game where you have to use your keyboard to press buttons as they appear on the right side of the screen in line with the song. Easy, right? The issue comes because of freaking Hypno. He's trying to brainwash you this entire song, and to avoid this, you have to press your spacebar in tune with their pendulum, which goes at a completely different rhythm than the rest of the game. This is the equivalent of trying to pat your head one way in a circle and rub your stomach the other. It messes with your brain, and if you mess up either one of these tasks, well... Fuck! Yeah, fuck me, man. Oh my god! I was losing my mind. It turns out the version of the game that I was using was stuck on hard mode. I'm on hard mode? Why the fuck am I on hard mode? What have I been hard mode on anything, chat? And there was no way to turn the difficulty down. So if I wanted to win, I only had one choice, and that was to lock in.
One, 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 what the, what the fuck is this? I popped off too early. What the fuck was all of that? I'm gonna be a hundred percent real with y'all. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be straight with y'all, not fucking happening. <laughs>